true believers. It's your pal Spider-Man. Good morning. Happy Sunday to everybody. Uh, doing another uh, shave video for you today. Uh, today we're going to continue on using my brand new Paladin uh, shave brushes. I've got this one soaking. Uh, this is the Atlas with the dancing skeleton. And just look at the bloom on that sucker. I've done one um, test palm lather uh, just to uh, to get it to bloom out, and that thing is just amazing. This is a 28 millimeter, um, which three of the my newest um, Paladin brushes are all 28 millimeter, and all uh, should be the same knot. And just from when I was palm lathering this. Um, the feel of this was amazing. Um, really good, uh, really soft, just amazing. Probably the best palette brush I've ever had. Um, we're gonna be using Fougere Gothic for today's shave. Kinda red theme to match my Vesuvius brush. And uh, another just really good scent. Um, the Fougere Gothique and Fougere Angelique are both really good. Uh, Fougere Gothique is uh, darker. Fougere Angelique is lighter. Um, really hard to describe this. There's just a lot of good stuff going on in it. Um, but if you like dark, spooky scents, then uh, this is one that you want. Um, it's in the same vein, I guess, as Hallows, which I used yesterday. These brushes do take on and hold a lot of lather. And as such, they're going to take a lot of water. The brush feels amazing. Like, seriously, this is the best knot I've ever felt from Paladin. The, everybody describes these as having, like, gel tips, and uh, it's so soft, it's ridiculous. At this point, I don't need to build my lather anymore. I just like the feel of this on my face. It's so soft. But I am gonna go ahead and put in just a little bit more water. And we'll put that in. The soap and the brush will hold it. Alright, so uh, yesterday I used my Gillette Psycho Tech. Um, I said it had a Wizomet blade in it, and um, I said that I think I said that uh, the Wizomet was like the vintage older version of the Pole Silver, and that's wrong. Um, wasn't thinking. I've got Pole Silvers in my den. And I've also got Super Iridiums. And I got them at the same time, and it confused the two. Um, they are actually the older version of the Super Iridium. And I've got the Wizomet package right down there. I could have looked, but I didn't think about doing that. Either way, I do not like the Wizomet blades uh, at all. It was not smooth, it was not comfortable, so I took it out this morning. I put in a Persona, and this is much much better. Much smoother.
So yesterday we did uh, carve pumpkins, kids and I. So I'll try to remember to throw a picture of our pumpkins at the end of the video. And then today we're going to go to the pumpkin patch. I know we kind of did that in reverse order, but I don't buy my pumpkins from the pumpkin patch because they're too expensive. I buy them from the store. They cost me three fifty dollars a piece for decent sized pumpkins. It costs like 10 bucks a piece of the pumpkin patch. But we just go there to have a good time. They do a hayride uh, through the woods and kids always enjoy that part of it. Um, they've got a pumpkin chucker that launches pumpkins into the forest. Probably a couple football fields in distance. Um, they just got little stuff for the kids, but even though my kids are older, they still like looking at some of the stuff. So we were going to go to that yesterday, but yesterday ended up being kind of rainy and gloomy and cold. It's still going to be cool today, but no rain and at least a little bit warmer. It's foggy as heck right now. So what do we got going on in the cadre right now? We got, uh, we're in between bingo games. Gaggy won the last one. So he'll be starting up his game, hopefully soon. And uh, we got the uh, Rudolph gift exchange going on, which is awesome, everybody was already paired up, so now we're in the researching, stocking, shopping phase. And we got the football pick'em. College football. Which I am doing very, very badly in. Last place right now. But uh, this format is just, just isn't working for me. Um, last year, I don't know anything about football. I don't know anything about college teams, nothing at all. Never watched a college game, like, ever, out of my own choosing. Like, if it was on in the background or whatever at a party or something, I'd watch part of it. But never sat down and chose to watch college football. The college that I went to didn't have any sports teams, so I just never got into it. And, uh, so last year we had to pick, like, five teams. Well, I could do enough research to do, uh, <clears throat> some picks. And, uh, actually, I won last year. I won a grand prize. And with someone with no knowledge, and all I was doing was just researching the games ahead of time, I did really well. This time, I have to pick like 15 games. And um, I the first couple weeks, I did a whole bunch of research and picked all my teams. And then I went into the app to make my picks. And CBS gives you percentages. Well, as it turns out, those first couple weeks, every team that I was going to pick anyways was favored in the percentages. So... That really took out the need for me to spend hours researching all these teams to make my picks. So then that became a crutch. And I'm like, well, that's no fun. Just 
picking according to the percentages. So those first couple weeks I did pretty good. I was at the upper end. Of the standings but it was boring um, <clears throat> and then you know every now and then like a team that may be even favored like 98% would still lose so that you gotta pick some upsets so I started just playing with numbers and deciding how I was going to pick my upsets since again I have no idea about these teams and I'm not gonna research all of them to figure out which couple I'm going to pick as upsets, so I just kind of developed this system um, for how I was going to pick my upset games and worked decently the next couple weeks, but then after that I just fell off. So I don't know what I'm going to do from here on out. The Tech is really a great shaver. I think mild enough for anybody that's starting out wants a mild razor, but still efficient enough that it just works. I think anybody should be able to get a good enough shave off of a Tech. Uh, we're gonna clean up a little bit. Look at all this lather that is still in. And look how goopy that is. Like the, this brush was still holding on to that much water. That's just crazy. Like all that water that I put in there and I was still lathering and moving it around, I still haven't worked all that water into the lather. The brush was just holding on to that. That's crazy. And it's taken me a while to get all the lather out of this brush. Pretty dense. And that's about all the water shaken out of it. Good brush. And rinse off her face just a little bit. Got most of it off. Witch Hazel. And um, I know a lot of people on the cadre, uh, just gonna mention this real quick, I got in CBL's um, Beta Pucks, the tonsorial version. Um, I went ahead and put all of my tensorial pucks into tubs um, and um, you might be thinking well how in the world do you do that because it is a hard puck um, well <clears throat> as you can see this one you can see where the puck was well I just took the other puck and just broke small pieces off of it it's not quite crumbly hard but it's kind of hard um, but you can break off small chunks and then just wedge them around, smooth it out. And then I added a little bit of water to the top of this last night, sealed it up and let it sit and it absorbed all that water. And I think what that did was help um, break in or uh, distribute all of the particles. Um, so, cause I did do a small test lather and bits and pieces were coming off of my brush. Um, so by Getting that rehydrated um, kind of affixed all those loose particles back into one uh, one chunk. Um, so if you have beta pucks and you want to get them into tubs, you can do it. Um, and now I'm all set to shave with these in the tub, which I'm very excited about. So finishing up now with the Bourgeois Gothique. Um, I do, if you have these, you do have to shake them up because they separate and the oils get on top and you would not want to A, get 
just the oils out because that could hurt your face. I know Ogallala's Bay Rum is like that, it separates. And I didn't know that the first time and splashed it out and I had basically pure oil hitting my face and it burned. Mm, so good, so good smelling. Um, also, if you get all of the oils out at the beginning, um, what is left in your bottle eventually is going to have less scent. So you want to make sure you distribute those. There's only a few aftershaves um, that I have that do separate. Um, some of the artisans, I don't know, I don't know why. It seems like maybe they're just not putting in an emulsifier to keep that in suspension. Um, but a uh, couple of my uh, Bear Shirt Mans and my Holy Black, um, they separate out. But, oh man, this smells so good. I really, really want the um, Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum or whatever it is, their cologne. Um, but they keep not getting it in stock. Um, it's an exclusive to Maggard's um, and I emailed them initially and they said that there was an issue with the bottles or something and that was when it first came out. I just emailed them again uh, this week and they said they have no update on when they're coming back into stock. So um, really, really, really looking forward to that because this is to me just an amazing scent and I really want that in the cologne. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and um, you know, if you're in town or you want to be in town next weekend, join me for my party. It'll be on Saturday. Um, Anyways, uh, take it easy. We'll see you on the cadre later. Bye.